up YouTube King Feeling here if you are new I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel also leave a like today we will be discussing the NBA 2k25 builder cap breakers badge perks badge elevators and takeovers okay first thing first I want you guys to realize in the builder this builder is gonna be more detailed than ever before you can preview your badges your takeovers and your signature animation all from inside the builder you'll see what badges takeovers and animation you will qualify for like i was saying right in the builder they've added an all new equip screen so you can now customize your jump shot your dump packages and see all of your signature animations one thing you might notice by looking at the build here is stamina is not there anymore so the way stamina works in 2x25 you will just basically earn stamina by doing gym workouts so each player will start out with an 85 stamina and you can get up to eight stamina points each week you can do four workouts per week so the stamina is going to be earned through the workouts only and once your player reach 99 stamina it's going to be permanent uh, once you do all the 12 unique workouts you will unlock workout warrior 99 stamina all body types the permanent turbo boost throughout all existing builds that you have and i'm pretty sure all the builds that you make are gonna have that 99 stamina once this is complete all right you might also notice that there is no acceleration they now have agility in place of acceleration so they basically try to narrow it down and make it more simplified right so they're making the agility for your defensive lateral movement your off ball launches and your off ball pass and they're making it so the speed with ball is just a dribble launches so there's no more confusion on what is acceleration doing like in 2k24 people like acceleration matter it don't matter okay they heard all the noise so they got rid of acceleration brought in agility and said hey this is going to be for defense lateral movement off ball launches and off ball pass so that pretty much it for the builder man it's just gonna be very detailed um this year i do believe you're gonna be able to make like a player like all the way like so you know like before we'll be like we're making a lebron build it's like in 2k25 now if you make you can actually make a lebron build or like a kd build or whatever you would like man so i'm really excited for this builder and how much freedom we're gonna have in 2k25 and the builder and yeah it's just real cool to be able to see like your badges your takeover and your signal animation that you can get right from the builder so there's no more you know having to make the player and then go back and look at the animation or you'll see right from the builder in 2k25 all the signature animations you can get all the takeover you can get and all the badges so it's gonna be that's gonna be real dope man that you can do that from the builder one thing I want to mention from the builder in 2k25 that i didn't mention before i move on to the cap breaker is that we do now have a level at the hall of fame if you guys didn't know we now have a legend level so those are the red badges that you are seeing right here there is a legend level in 2k25 which is at the hall of fame right which is crazy so i'm thinking we all are thinking that the legend badges should be very very useful right they should be this would be very good for the game if the legend badges are worth it okay if it's worth it i mean worth it like if it's a big difference between hall of fame and legend then it's worth it the legend badge is worth it so we just gotta wait to see how that play out but i'm about to move on into the cap breakers because i believe there's a lot of confusion going on about the cap breakers so i'm gonna kind of break that down and explain the cat the all new cap breakers that's in nba 2k25 all right let's move on to the cap breakers i know a lot of people are confused you can read right here on the screen but i'm gonna kind of explain what the cap breakers are in 2k25 so in 2k25 there will be 15 cap breakers right and how you earn these cap breakers is through your rep rewards right rep rewards so is basically not the season level rewards i'm talking about you got to earn these cap breakers through your rep so when i say your rep i'm talking about like you being rookie one rookie two rookie three starter one starter two starter three 
like that. That's how you earn the cap breaker. So a lot of people confuse and thinking that you're gonna unlock the cap breakers throughout the season, like you know, level one through forty. No, that's not it. You're basically gonna earn the cap breakers by your rep, your overall rep. That's how you earn the cap breakers. And basically, the example they have right here, they say, let's say you got a ball handle attribute that's an eighty-five. You can apply two cap breakers that will give you an 87 and then you'll unlock access to all animation badges and takeover that requires an 87 so yeah basically once you add the cat burger onto your attribute you then unlock access to whatever right whatever animation whatever badge whatever takeover that you can get at 87 ball handle right here by this example you will unlock now it is a few restrictions like they said but before I get into the restrictions let me say this right here because a lot of people think you're gonna make a demigod bill right you think you're gonna add 15 cap breakers to one attribute no you're not gonna be able to do that you're only gonna be able to add five to each attribute but before I talk about that let's talk about let me bring up the bill so you guys can see what I'm saying all right let me explain the let me explain the count breaker so let's look at speed with ball right here on this build you see how the speed with ball is maxed out at a 94 so that's all this build can do right this build can go to 94 but let's say you stop that 91 you will have hall of fame lightning lunch but you can get basically three cap breakers and add it to your speed with ball and that will put you in the 94 speed with ball so it will put you in the legend lightning lunch so you see what i'm saying it's like whatever your build can do you basically can add the cap breaker to that if you're not up to the full potential so if you had a 91 speed with ball and your player can go up to a 94 then you can add the cap breaker you can add cap breakers right there to get the lightning lunch basically legend you can get a 94 you can add the three cap breakers and go up to the 94 speed with ball and you will have now access to the legend badge lightning lunch however after you add the three cap breakers to this speed with ball you will be at 94 you will be at max potential of this build so you cannot add any more attributes I mean, you cannot add any more cap breakers to the speed with ball attribute because your player is already at the max potential. You see what I'm saying? And you only get 15 cap breakers and you limit it to five. I know you only use, we use only three, right? To go from 91 speed with ball to 94. The reason you can't use two more, which would be five, is because the player is already at the max with 94. So that's what I'm telling you. You cannot go over your player max with the cap breaker let me give one more example on the cap breaker and then we're going to move on so let's look at the steel attribute you see it says 71 steel right for this player but you see that you can go higher than a 71 steel whoever made this build just stopped at a 71 steel right what i'm saying is you could add five cap breakers to the steel attribute and now your steel will be 76 so it's just that simple you can add no more than plus five to an attribute and you only can add to the attribute if it's more left to go on the attribute so like this person stopped at 71 steel it is more left because you know we can get up to like a 99 steel so you can add your five right here you can add your five somewhere else and then your five somewhere else and then that's 15 attributes if you want to do it in just three different category three different attributes right you do five five and five and that will be your 15 cap breakers or you can do whatever combination you want you can go add one cap breaker to 15 different attributes because in all it's about 21 attributes right here going from top to bottom so you can kind of do it however you want when you unlock your cap breakers let's talk about the badge perks in NBA 2K25, I probably should have mentioned this before the cap breaker because these bad perks, man, 
it's very important okay very important so we got three new bass perks for nba 2k25 i'll mention the best one last all right let's start with the participation which is the second one this just means that since it's a flat base you basically gonna if you equip this to your badge you sh even if you don't use the badge you still will get prog progression towards that badge that's all participation means now synergy which is the third one this right here means if we put if we're on a 2v2 court and y'all playing with me you know the stretch god you know i'm bringing the stretch back into k25 but anyway if you're playing with me right and we equip the same badge let's say we both equip limitless range right i equip limitless range on my stretch and you equip limitless range on your guard or whatever even if you don't use limitless range and i'm out there sparking up shooting from deep you still going to get progression towards your limitless range so you can get your limitless range badge off of me off of you know the stretch just going crazy shooting from from limitless or whatever a little bitty guard shooting for limitless if as long as you equip synergy badge perk and you put on limitless range and i got on limitless range we both get limitless range i'm gonna be doing the work but you're gonna get the badge you see now for the last one the max plus one which i know a lot of people got some mixed feelings about okay a lot of people probably gonna have mixed feelings about this one all right let's talk about this max plus one badge perk yes you seeing it right here you can boost a badge one level above its max potential so basically you can turn your gold badges to hall of fame and your hall of fame badges to legend based off this right here level 15 you'll get the tier 2 badge and level 30 you'll get the, you'll get to do it for a tier 1 badge so each season you can take two badges and you can upgrade them one level above where they are at which is crazy right this is absolutely crazy that you can do this now the catch is after the season is over they're gonna go back they're gonna revert back to the original level so yeah so season one come out you better take you know your gold badge up to hall of fame or whatever or if you want to take you know a silver badge up to gold you'll be able to do that right You'll be able to take the silver up the gold, and then you'll be able to take the gold up the Hall of Fame. And after that season is over, then they'll go back to normal. So it won't be what you upgraded it to. It'll just go back to the original. And they said also to keep this fair, they don't list it here, but they said basically, never mind. I was thinking about the badge elevator, which I'm about to mention right now, which is also even crazier than the badge perks right the badge elevators so basically in 2k25 the bad elevators they saying that you can basically boost it up you can take a badge and boost it up three levels which is crazy so you can take a, a bronze badge and boost it up all the way to hall of fame right and they say you can do this basically each season each season you can take one individual badge i believe it's one badge i think you can do this with one badge and you can just boost it up three levels and they basically are saying to keep things balanced out that in the first four seasons all right you can only boost your badge up two levels but when season five comes season five through eight then you can boost your badges up three levels how many badges can you boost up though I believe they saying you can do just one badge per season. That's what I'm thinking. But if it's more, <laughs> if you can use this badge elevator, because it says badge elevators, but if you can use this on more than one badge in the season, this is going to be crazy. Because, I mean, as soon as the season drop, you can just get, <laughs> get a badge elevator take your badge up i mean because it's gonna be season one right so you can't do it up three levels but you can do it up two levels in season one you can still boost it up two levels i mean that ain't going to from bronze to hall of fame but that's still going from bronze to gold 
<laughs> which is still crazy, right? I mean, man, I see where they're going with it. I mean, these bad elevators, these cap breakers and all that. Man, I think it's a good idea. But at the same time, I can see the comp side of 2K having an issue with basically like uh, the badge perks. Being able to, since you can buy up to level 40, right? And with the badge perks, they say you can get a max plus one at level 15 and at level 30. So you can just buy those and take your badge up a tier. You know, so I can see the comp scene being a little maybe frustrated about it, but I also understand for the casuals, for the people that just want to play the game and just want to, you know, people that's working, that come at home, just want to get on the game and they just want to just buy up the level 40, they still can get, you know, the match plus one to get the tier to go up one for. I mean, you know what? It ain't even that. <laughs> it's really not that deep for real. I don't think so, but. I know a lot of people probably don't like the idea of badge perks or badge elevators or cap breakers, but I actually like it. I like it. Um, it's going to be what it's going to be. You know, if you comp, you comp. If you're a casual, you're a casual. You know, it is what it is. Everybody going to have to adapt and adjust to it, and that's just what all gamers do, right? Adapt and adjust, no matter what's going on with the game so I'm looking forward to all of it the cap breakers you know the badge perks and the badge elevators I'm looking forward to all of it all right moving on to the badges in 2k25 I'm gonna try to wrap this up I haven't mentioned well, I need to mention the badges in the takeover and that's it so the badges is 40 new badges nothing really special for real about the badges just 40 new badges and everything pretty much been simplified a lot of badges been removed that's about it it's nothing really game breaking the game changing about the badges it's just 40 of them and a lot of them have been removed so it's nothing really to mention about the badges really so for it's 40 of them i do think shooting gonna be easier in 2k25 but i'm gonna talk to you guys about that in the next video now with the takeovers they did say gonna be 72 takeovers uh they said it's gonna be five levels of hotness so you're playing on the court and it's basically gonna activate by itself depending on you playing well in the game so once you get to that fifth level whatever so once you go up through the levels like level one level two level three basically your attributes start to get a plus to it like a plus one plus two plus three each level you go up and then eventually you're going to get hot and go into takeover and then once you go into takeover you, they said they're going to be 14 special abilities uh one of the special abilities they mentioned right here in the screenshot is a deep post bag which is basically a post score easy to beat defenders with post back downs moves face and shots so just a post basically barbecue chicken is a takeover special ability is the deep post bag right so it's basically a post score which i hate so yeah that's pretty much it on the takeovers and yeah i forgot to mention that in season two community bills will be coming back those of you that did like the community bills from 2k24 they will be bringing those back in season two i think i pretty much covered pretty much everything yeah in this video i know it's kind of lengthy but we did cover you know the builder the cap breakers the badge perch the badge elevators the takeover we cover all of it in this video so go ahead and leave a like on the video man subscribe if you're new i'm gonna have more 2k25 news type of videos coming real soon go ahead and leave a like for your boy we back 2k25 we ready to grind you know what it is, man.